This is just a quick video on how I have my Delta 5 race timer set up. Um, I have here a six node timer, um, a router, and I have my laptop. Um, the timer is connected via this Cat5 cable into the, into the back of the router. Uh, normally in the field, we run about 200 feet of Cat5 out to the start finish gate. And I usually have the router sitting uh, up at the timing tent with the laptop over here. So pretty straightforward. I haven't done anything special to the router. Um, it's just doing everything that routers do. Um, it provides a IP address to the race timer and it provides a IP address to the laptop. That's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is get the IP address of your Delta 5 race timer. Um, how I do that is to log into the router and I just have a little bookmark set up here um, to log into it. And let me do that real quick. And you can log into your router however your manufacturer suggests. So once you've logged in, there is a page that shows you all the connected devices. Um, all routers have this in some way, shape, or form. Um, and this is just how it looks on mine. So when I click on attached devices, what I'm expecting to see is two attached devices because that's all I have connected to it. And there you go. There's the Delta 5 race timer. It's connected via Cat5. And there is the IP address that I need. Um, you also see here the laptop that I'm on. And yeah, I'm connected over Wi-Fi and there's the IP address of that. But the IP address that you want is the one of the Delta 5 race timer. And that's this one right here, 192.168.1.2. Now this will be different depending on your router and what other devices you have connected. Um, you can set a static IP address, but I don't have that turned on right now. So what I'll do is I'll come over here, open up a new tab, and I will go to that IP address. Actually, it's defaulting to that. So I'm going to 192.168.1.2 colon 5000. And once I log into that, this is the default GUI that you can use to run a race. Now, uh, this timer right now is set up to use the default GUI. And I'll show you guys how to swap over to live time uh, in just a sec. But uh, just to give you a little tour around here, uh, this is some default data or some data left over from some testing sessions that we had a couple weeks ago. Um, if you come in over here to settings, it will ask you for a uh, username and password, and that is admin delta five. And once you're at this page, you'll see the nodes that are connected and this is a six node time timer and you can click change the frequency you know you can change what frequency that particular node is tuned into you'll also see the current rssi value that that node sees and you'll kind of see these jumping around a little bit um, you can come down here you can add heats you can add pilots you can assign pilots into the heats and then down at the very bottom, you have sensor tuning. Um, this is where you can uh, make your adjustments to uh, fit your particular RF environment. Um, and there's instructions on how to set these and what these things mean out on the GitHub page. Um, down at the bottom, we have a reset database. Now the bright red one will completely erase everything in the database. It doesn't destroy the database, but it clears all the information from the database. The orange button clears out all the data, but it keeps the pilots. It keeps this information here. So you don't have to keep entering in uh, the pilots that you have show up on a, you know, weekly basis or whenever you hold your races down here, we have a uh, shutdown button. Uh, what this does is it safely shuts down the Raspberry Pi. So it doesn't corrupt your database. If you just, you know, happen to pull power, it's a safer way of doing it. And you know you can uh, poke around, and uh, here's the race page. From here, you can uh, pick what heat you want to run. Right now, there's only one heat entered in. You can start a race. This one is a unlimited timed race. There's no time. Actually, you'll see the clock count upwards. This one here is a two-minute race, and which is will set this to two minutes and count down. Um, obviously, once you started a race, you can stop the race. 
Um, and then once you've finished a race, you can actually hit this button, the save laps race to commit them to the database. Or if you want to rerun that particular race or that heat, you can just hit this clear laps. But I'm not going to go into that. Um, you know, I might make that a separate video later. This is just to show you how to get things set up. So this is the, uh, the default GUI. Um, and next up, I'm going to show you guys how to connect it to Lifetime. Okay, so in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to change the configuration of the Delta 5 race timer. Um, I use a program called Putty. Um, you can download that for free um, off the web. So using Putty, uh, I'm just going to put in the IP address of the Delta 5 race timer that I found before, 192.168.1.2, and I'm going to hit Okay, so this brings me to a terminal window, and what I'm going to do is log into the Pi, or the Delta 5 race timer, and the login is Pi, and it's Delta 5 FPV. So there you go, I'm now logged in to the race timer. So what you want to do to change the configuration uh, of the Delta 5 race timer, uh, depending on whether you want to swap between the default GUI and the live time configuration, you want to go edit this file right here. So it's sudo nano and then this file right here, Delta 5 race service. And all this is in the uh, GitHub repository. So um, if you uh, need a link to this address or this uh, read up on how to do it, just go to the GitHub repository. So I'm going to log in right there. So what you see on this Delta 5 service file, um, what you're looking for is this working directory directory right here it's you just change this last section right here right now when it says delta 5 server this is setting it up to run the default GUI if you change this to timing server and you'll want to save this file do a uh, control X hit yes enter and it will save that file and then next thing you got to do is just reboot the Delta 5 timer do, just do a sudo reboot okay so once you've rebooted your Pi and you have it configured for um, live time one of the, th the first things you want to do is, you know, you can start lifetime and log in and you can come up here to the top right corner and this little red box right here, you'll see that when you mouse over it, it says decoders. If you click on that, it'll bring you to this decoder page and here you can pick the type of decoder that you want. And in this case, we want the Delta five and you can select what type of connection you have to it. And this is where you enter in the IP address that you found before. In this case, it's 192.168.1.2. And you'll notice as soon as you enter it in, the finish line goes green here saying it's connected. And up top here, it'll go green saying that you have a decoder connected. Um, you can come here to the communications tab and you'll see heartbeat information. You'll see this uh, changing. Um, right now, there's no data coming through because we actually haven't started a race yet. But when, if you have started a race, you'll see lots of data po populating here. Uh, one of the things you can do is go to the settings page. And this is similar to what we have on the Delta 5 GUI. Um, this is the sensor tuning area or the calibration area. Um, down here, you have your number of nodes and you can set the frequency. Um, you can see the RSSI values for each node uh, bouncing around, and you can also see the trigger value that um, each node is set to. Now, one of the things I do want to point out is that um, we also have this button right here, this sync event video frequencies. Right now, it's grayed out because I don't actually have an event set up. But um, when you do have an event set up in live time and you have chosen what frequencies you want to run, um, let's say you have picked... Uh, IMD 6C for your particular event. 
um, you can actually just hit this. Once you've selected that in the event, you can actually hit this button and it'll populate all of the nodes with the frequency set that you have uh, selected. Uh, it's just an easy way of um, coming in here and setting these guys. Um, one of the other things, if you guys are a uh, premium subscription subscriber to Lifetime, you can add multiple um, Delta Five race timers and use those as split times. What you'll do is you can come in here and just add another decoder. And obviously when you do that and you'll have that connected to the router as well, it'll have its own IP address and you just connect it just like we did before. And I'm not going to go into how do you run Lifetime. Uh, they have a bunch of videos out there that shows you how to um, set up, you know, the classes and the tracks and the events and the pilots. Um, but, you know, this is just a quick video on how to get the Delta 5 race timer working with the default GUI and Lifetime.